So in this little tutorial, what we're going to go through is a real quick way of subsetting your mesh tool. We're going to be using the mesh subset tool, which I happen to have in a shelf down here. It's called mesh subset. But if you pull up the palette itself, it's going to come up under mesh and um, where it's actually mesh partitioning mesh subset. Um, but before we get there, the first thing that we're going to do is actually take a look at what we have in here. This happens to be a mesh file that was originating inside of uh, 3D Studio Max. I'll put an STL file so I would have just a tessellated model to work from. And I just grabbed the mesh and you can see that it's one big lump of mesh. Oftentimes what we want to do is we want to separate this out and the mesh subset tool is just perfect for that. So what we'll do is we'll come in and the first thing that we're going to do is we'll grab the tool itself. The first thing it's asking to do is to find the mesh which grabs everything. Now everything's pink, it's a little hard to see. And I'm going to kind of zoom around and I'm going to grab this section right down here. So all I'm going to do is click on here until I've gotten a region and then I'm just going to go ahead and select it. If it doesn't show up, that means I haven't gotten enough nodes uh, to actually have something to select. So we'll grab a little bit better area and now you can see that we have some nodes selected on here. Now if you look down at the bottom there's this grow command uh, grow once and grow all so we'll do a grow and you notice what will happen is it's actually picking both the inside and outside surfaces of this particular shape so we'll keep on growing it and the way if we if we're lucky at all uh, when we do a complete grow, you can see that it's actually grabbed that full cabin now just by doing the grow all. Real easy to work with. Uh, we now have that subsetted, or ready to subset, so we'll just tell it to subset. Now we'll start looking at the next one. So we'll come in here and let's work on this wheel area. See if we've got enough of a region here to make it work. Okay, so we've gotten that. So grow once, it looks good, and then grow all gives us our wheel, subset that. As you can see, the process is pretty easy. Um, it allows us to tear apart these areas that um, would have taken a lot of work to, uh, to go through the whole process of, of cutting the pieces out of the unit itself. Well, once we've done that a few times, now let's see what happens. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and turn my control panel on and we'll do a random surface uh, shading on here. Now you'll see that this main block that we haven't actually worked on fully has uh, is all still one mesh. So if I grab the mesh itself, you'll see that that's all still selected. But each of these individual other individual components are individual meshes. I hope that was helpful.